Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father, for all of the broken hearts, for all of the depressed people that are the people that are struggling out there that are continuing to just live day by day, one day at a time, dealing with the struggles and the challenges and the depression and the and the things of life that just seem to overcome us, overwhelm us at times. Many of us have over the last year have had many of our hopes and dreams kind of shattered and Yet we continue to look forward to that glorious moment in time, regardless of how much difficulty that we may have to go through in the near future. We look forward to that point in time when our our glory, the transformation occurs, that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the outpouring of the new wine occurs. Into those new wineskins, we pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will convert us as the potter into those new wineskins. Make us who we need to be. Burn away the dross, Father God. Allow us to suffer now. Allow us to cry in tears. We pray, Father God, that those are not tears of physical pain, if it is at all avoidable, Father. But we do pray in Jesus' name that if we have to suffer the anguish of mental depression, mental loneliness, mental struggles in our lives, uh, difficulties at work, difficulties in our, in, in, amidst our families and, and, and the challenges of, of our walk, we pray, Father God, that those that, those, that 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 these things that are occurring in our lives, these 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 periods of ups and downs, are beneficial ultimately to who we need to become in order to completely and totally uh, serve you in the greatest capacity that is that is that, that that has been written in the books about us before there was time. We praise you, Father God, for the struggles that we go through. We praise you, Father God, for the depressions that we go through. We praise you, Father God, for the anxieties that we struggle with. We praise you, Father God, with the endurance that we have to, um, to, to, to well, in, endure that the, the, the time that we have to go through and, and, and looking into the future and knowing that, you know, we felt that we should have left so much longer ago than we have. And, but yet, be able to have that gracious long suffering and that patience knowing that there are so many that have not awakened to the times that we are in yet at the same time knowing that your love and your mercy endures forever and that you father would want not one to perish and that we have a mission here on this earth to continue to contend with you in our prayers to continue to lift up the people that are hurting far more far more than we are in the midst of our struggles, help us, Father God, to see the intense and unbelievable gush of blessing and love and, 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 and the bounty that you have given us even in our walks when we are unable to see it in the midst of our own uh, anguish and, and, and trials and tribulations. And we thank you, Father God. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus, for truly being our advocate and our friend and loving us and, and just and continuing to walk with us and carrying us when we cannot walk any longer. Lord, there are so many uh, uh, studies and things that have been done over the years that indicate that sometimes the mental part, the, the, the mental depression, the mental uh, struggles that people go through are so, so many times more awful for people to have to endure uh, than, than in, in some cases physical pain and physical problems. And, and, and one does lead to the other, and we just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your outpouring of the outpouring of your Holy Spirit will come upon every single person that is participating in the show, whether or not they are listening live or whether or not they are listening to a recorded podcast. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you will hear our prayers before your throne, that you will outpour the presence of your Holy Spirit deep within us, that you will convert us, Lord God, that you will renew our minds, that you will help us, that, you, that, that, that your glory will flow, with, flow into our hearts into our minds, into our soul, into our spirit, into our flesh, like a wave of warm light. Father, like never before, let us feel the presence of the Holy Spirit amid, uh, it, through and through us, Father. Let us, let us know that your presence is around about us. Let us feel the arms of our Lord Jesus Christ in our midst, uh, uh, placing uh, his arms around us, lifting us up. Giving us that encouragement that we need, not just not just to to endure, not just to occupy, but to be able to feel the blessing, to be able to understand the blessing, to be able to enjoy uh, uh, as 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 David did to restore uh, the, the you know the joy of our salvation. 
to help us to be able to overflow with that light that we are to carry with us that should draw people into the Lord Jesus through our behaviors, our our feelings, our emotions, and how we uh, uh, endure in this lifetime with peace and joy and love and gratitude and grace and mercy. And, and, and let us, Father God, enjoy that. Let us enjoy the days that we have. Help us to find that place, that niche that we need to find as we endure uh, th- this time that we have on this earth, even as citizens of heaven. We pray, Father God, that you will help us to understand, even even though our, the Scripture steers us away from the earthly existence and, and, and admonishes us to keep our minds stayed on things above and not on this earth. We pray, Father, for so many of us. So many of us are in positions and, and situations in our lives where, we're, where, where, where we don't have companionship of any type. We don't have any any family the church family has let us down in some cases whatever that case may be wherever it is that we find in our, ourselves in our walks father we pray in jesus name that you will just raise up that you will raise up your glory within each of our hearts that you will cause that joy to bubble up inside of us lord that we cannot help but sing your praises that we cannot help but seek you out that we cannot help but but look for that opportunity to be able to spend more time alone with you on our on our knees praising you and lifting you up in glory, Father God, for you alone are worthy. Help us, Father God, by renewing that joy in our hearts. Help us, Father God, for being able to remain stayed upon the things that you have laid out before us since before the foundations of the earth, Father God. We pray in Jesus' name that the, Jesus' name that if there are any gaps, if there are any issues, if there are any voids in our lives, that you will fill us with your glory. That the that the fulfillment and the promises that you have prophesied through what 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 many of us call our a list prophets, those who who do not just prophesy good things, but Father God also prophesy the scary stuff that we know will ultimately lead to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our embracing him in glory and being able to be transformed by, into, the, into, the, in, into the eternal realm and to be in your presence with unbelievable, unexplainable un, words of ecstasy, feelings of ecstasy that are beyond our wildest comprehension. Lord God, help us to understand these things. Help us to live in the midst of that glory. Help us to be able to feel the presence of that hope. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we need to be able to endure the days that we have before us, to be able to see the things that are happening around us, but yet be filled with that glory, be filled with that fellowship with our fellow brothers and sisters, Help us to find that place that we need to be able to endure the things that have been laid before us, the walk that we have to walk. and, And we pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you will amplify your love, amplify that glory, amplify those feelings of joy that you have promised us through so many of your really good prophets. We pray, Father God, that you will make manifest the things that have been promised to us over the years. So many times you have spoken through good prophets, Father God, really good prophets, Father God, of blessings and and answers to prayers that so many of us have been praying for so many years. If we have to endure this time on the earth, Father, we pray in Jesus' name that those blessings will indeed be released and that your word shall not come back void. And we pray, Father God, that you will touch the people who love you the most, the people that aspire to be part of the remnant bride of our Lord Jesus Christ more than anything, that desire to be in your presence more than anything, more than anything, more than taking our next breath on this earth. In Jesus' name, Father, we beseech you to outpour that that, that, that blessing of glory, that blessing of joy. Fill us, Father God. Fill those voids and, 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 and with, with, with the fellowship that we so much long for and, and a walk, Father God, that allows us to be able to feel your presence and to be able to share that joy with others around about us, Father God, in our daily walk as we, as we occupy the time that we have on this earth and touch other people's lives through the works and our behaviors and our love of our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we give you all the glory and praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight is January the 4th of 2019, the 27th of Tavaz, 5778. The next holiday is Rosh Kodesh Shavat, January the 7th of 2019. We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 days away from the super- Wolf Blood 
Moon, the last of the three, four, three blood moon tetrads that are foreshadowing the darkest times that the world has ever seen. And we glorify in your holy name, Father God, and we ask you for your patience. We ask you for the patience of Job. We ask you for the patience, Father God, patience, greater patience than has ever been bestowed on your people since before the foundations of the earth. And we pray, Lord God, that you will bless us with that patience and that joy to feel the love of our Lord Jesus Christ in every breath that we take as we wait. The time now is 814 on the east coast of the United States of Babylon the Great. And tonight, together, we light the Sabbath candles. I light three, one for the Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One for the Son. Jesus, Yeshua, Messiah, King of Kings. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Lord. And one for the oft-forgotten God. Our awesome, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being in our presence. You are absolutely welcome in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. And thank you. Thank you, Father. Amen. The Hebrew Kadesh. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagathen Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzavanu V'shabat kodsho v'yava u'v'ratzon in Chilanu, Zikaron le Mase Vereshit. Ki hu yom techila le Mikra e Kodesh, Zechel etziat Mitzrayim. Kivanu vacharta, veotanu kidashta, mikol hamim. Veshabat kodshecha, beava uvratzon, inchaltanu. Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. Holy Lord Jesus, we pray that you will please cleanse and totally purify our heart, our soul, our spirit, our mind, our flesh, our record-keeping books in heaven, and our robe and crown in heaven. Father God, with your precious holy fire and Lord Jesus, with your blood, we glorify in you, Lord God. And now knowing these things, brethren, let us cleanse ourselves of all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness and the fear of God. Second Corinthians 7, 1. Alleluia. We thank you, Jesus. Don't 
forget where you belong Like the steadiness of the sun Keep on burning, never turn Just keep this up and you will learn That my children need my love every day Always waking you up Now look at my eyes in your mirror And give me one single reason to stop The wrong that you did, I won't remember it What matters to me is that your spirit is shining Just rest in my light and watch those shadows dissolve Don't forget where you belong Like the steadiness of the sun Keep on burning, never turn Keep it up and you will learn That my children need my light every day Never forget that this is always your home. You can come as you are and you'll always be loved. In my presence, time is gone. Future mistakes are all forgiven by me. If you hold to my word, you will always be free. This promise will stand till the end of time. It was paid in full when I called you mine. Praise the fame away. Don't forget where you belong. Like the steadiness of my son. Keep on burning. Never turn away. Just keep this up. And you will learn That my children need my light Every day Rise, my love, my beautiful companion, and run with me to the higher place. For now is the time to arise and come away with me. For you are my dove, hidden in the split open rock. It was I who hid you up high in the secret stairway of the sky. Let me see your radiant face and hear your sweet voice. How beautiful your eyes of worship and lovely your voices in prayer. You must catch those troubling foxes, those sly little foxes that hinder our relationship. For they raid our budding vineyard of love to ruin what I've planted within you. Will you catch them and remove them for me? We'll do it together. Song of Songs, 213b through 215, the Passion Translation. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we just lift you up and glorify you. We glorify you, Father. We pray that you will bring in the fullness of the Gentiles. We pray that you will touch with the holy angels, uh, with the angels that are called down by your saints on this earth, by standing in the gap on behalf as intercessors, on behalf of all of the lands of the world. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will expedite, that you will speed up time, uh, that you will begin the time that we are all so anxiously awaiting, the times of the, of the ends of days, Father God, that we are able to stand 
end, we pray always to be found worthy to escape all these things that are about to come upon the earth. Stand before our Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will wash us clean. For we confess of our sins, for our sins are always before us. They are always before us. We confess continuously of our sins. We pray, Lord Jesus, with your blood that you will wash us clean. For those of us who are struggling with different things in our lives, or whether it be spirits of depression or anxiety or whatever challenges that we are having, frustrations that are coming upon us, attacks from the darkness, Father God, we pray. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus, as it promises here in Song of Songs, which is really just a, a beautiful, beautiful prose to the bride of, the, of the Jesus Christ, Father, we pray. And Lord Jesus, we ask ask you when it says that we will do it together we ask you lord help us even more than you have helped us before help us to be able to remove and catch those troubling foxes for those of us who are struggling with specific issues father we pray for an inner strength to be implanted within us supernaturally we pray in the name of jesus father that you will send spirits into our presence, Holy Spirits, just as those in First Kings 22, verse 19, that they will be sent down archangels into the presence around about our homes to guide us, to help us, to lift us up lest, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We pray, Father God, for a strength, an inner strength, an inner strength to be able to overcome, to find that place where we, and that opportunity that we know that you will lay before us to walk away to walk away from those troubling foxes. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you, Father. Amen. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Psalm 139, verse 16. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2, 10. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you that our own free will, which you have given us each, will be diminished in the presence of your glory. Even during the times when we feel frustrated and angry and depressed and we just don't want to continue forward. We feel the heavy hand of oppression from the darkness that never, never, and it never stops besieging us, pressing down upon us, coming at us from different different angles, about the time that we think that we've risen above it and we have full control over it through the power and the glory and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 10, verse 19, we praise you, Father God, again, there's another wave of the darkness that pushes us back down. Yet at the same time, Father God, we ask you to fill us with a spirit of perseverance, a reassurance for those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31 shall renew their strength. And Father, we ask you for that supernatural renewing, that renewing grace to flow deep into our heart, deep into our mind, deep into our, our soul, our spirit, our flesh, to overcome us with your presence, to lift us up lest we dash our foot against a stone or trip over a troubling fox. We praise your holy name, Lord God. For man, these things are not possible, but with you, Father, everything is possible. And that which is not from faith is sin. Romans fourteen twenty three, Matthew nineteen twenty six. And Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you will pour out the Holy Spirit gift of faith upon each of us. Pour out the Holy Spirit gift of faith the Holy Spirit gift of love, the Holy Spirit gift of discernment. Help us, Father, to be able to walk in the joy and gladness that we should have knowing who 
you have destined us all to be. We pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you will overcome in our spirit, overcome in our minds. Help us to overcome with your power, with your supernatural touch, any of the earthly, fleshy feelings that overcome us. giving us that renewal that you have promised us in your word. Filling the voids that we have in our lives so that we are able to be fulfilled as we endure the days that we have, as we wait upon you, as we wait upon our Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for filling those voids. We thank you, Father God, for giving us not financial prosperity, Father, but prosperity in your glory. In Jesus' holy name, Yeshua Messiah, the King of kings, we pray and thank you. Luke 10, verse 19, Jesus said, Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. We clear the air principalities, powers, and strongholds, spiritual hosts of wickedness, and rulers of darkness in high places between ourselves and the throne room of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, drop your weapons. Colossians 2.15, Jesus disarmed principalities and powers, making a public spectacle of you. And we have been given his authority, and we command you, drop your weapons now. We bind you before the courts of heaven, Matthew 18, 18. That which is bound on earth is bound in heaven. That which is loose on earth is loosed in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command and declare and decree archangels and warrior angels into the spiritual realm to war with thee and to cut you into pieces, casting the pieces into the bowels of Sheol. We decree the holy fire of God to shoot down from the heavens and to burn you into agony should you set your wills against us. We tear up all demonic assignments placed against us. We tear up all demonic contracts placed against us, and we reverse them back against you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind and cast you out into the abyss. Unclean spirits, deaf and dumb spirits, anything that cannot call Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, oppressing us, coming upon us in our households, around about our property, coming against our loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command you, get out. We bind and cast you out into dry places. Enter no more. In Jesus' name, we exercise the rule of the victor, the Lord Yeshua Messiah, over all demonic regions, over all demonic entities, over all dead human spirits, over all live human spirits, over all workers of Satan, over all witch covers, co covens, over all false laws of pagandom. In the name of Jesus Christ, we exercise the rule of the victor, the Lord Jesus Christ, over all these demonic regions, over all these demonic spirits that might Consider setting their wills against us in the name of Jesus. We exercise the rule of the victor, Yeshua Messiah, against all demonic regions that would permit any of these spirits in or through their territory for the purpose of coming against us. We command in Jesus' name that they be immediately cut off from ever receiving power from the kingdom of darkness again. We require the immediate disbursement of all their funds from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We require the immediate destruction of all their books and artifacts of sorcery. We require, in Jesus' name, the immediate reversal of all their schemes, the cancellation of all their assignments against us, reversed back against them. Penalties applied 10,000 times 10,000. We cast them into the pit. We plead in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the pit be sealed with the blood of the Lord Jesus. For only the Lamb of God can break the seal. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. I want it. 
This time I use holy oil. I hope that you have some too. Praise God. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we praise you, Father God. We consecrate, sanctify ourselves to the complete ownership of the Holy Lord Jesus Christ, our King, our friend. We renounce all things spoken of in the darkness against us in Jesus' name. We declare the abundant grace of God, the living water, the crystal river upon us this evening wash away all impurities from our heart, mind, soul, spirit, and flesh. We declare the blood of Jesus upon us to cleanse us with your holy purity. We decree that no weapons raised against us, neither earthly nor spiritual, shall prosper. For who can be against us if our Father God is for us? We rebuke the devil. We rebuke and resist you, and we command you, flee! In Jesus' name, we cancel all demonic assignments against us. We break all yokes of bondage and all curses placed against us. We decree and declare a holy fire, a thorny hedge of protection to surround around about us, around about our dwelling places on all sides in the name of Jesus Christ, and a whirlwind of the Holy Spirit to blow it white hot, to create a fire vortex to punch through the spiritual realm, to melt the rock into the throne room of God, and to sustain it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, hear. Oh, Lord, forgive. Oh, Lord, listen and act. Do not delay. Daniel 9.19. For your people, the bride of your son, our king, cry out to you this day. Let not our prayers be hindered. First Peter 3, 7. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Korashiti alalabakunda sasiti amashandai. Kutaya mashanda sasi alalabashanda sakutaya masakiti iti abla. Iti alalabakura shanda basakiti iti alalabashandai. Thank you, Father God. Praise your holy name. We pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit to fall upon every single listener of this program. Father God, if they're seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name that they will mimic the sound that they hear coming from my voice, that they will mimic the sound of tongues, that they will allow through, through their love, through their desire, through seeking you with all their heart, 
all of their mind, all of their soul, Father God. In the name of Jesus, pour out your baptism of the Holy Spirit upon every single person who seeks you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Touch them, Father God, with your power. In the name of Jesus, we need more people baptized with, the, with tons of fire. In Jesus' name, from the throne room of God, we thank you, Father God, for not giving those who ask our Father for a loaf of bread or a fish. For not giving them a stone, but give us your glory and outpouring of your Holy Spirit. We praise you, Father God, and thank you, Jesus. The scriptures of the courts of heaven, Ezekiel 22, 30, For I sought for a man amongst them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found no one. Praise you, Jesus. Stand in the gap. Where? In the gap before the courts of heaven and the lands of the earth. Praise his holy name. Matthew 18, 18. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be pound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is about a binding contract. This is all legal. These are legal terms in the courts of heaven. Loosing a clause in a contract. Binding a clause in a contract or binding the contract itself. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we pray that you will wash us clean. Let us contend together. Let us contend together. John twenty twenty three. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Isaiah forty three twenty five to twenty seven. Our Father said, I even I am He who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. State your case that you may be acquitted. And this is what we do in a continuous state of confession of our sins, that we may be cleansed of all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. Hallelujah. Zechariah 3, verses 1 through 7. Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord. The high priest. And Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand plucked from the fire? Now Joshua was clothed in filthy garments, the high priest, and was standing before the angel. And he answered and spoke to those, he, our father, answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I will clothe you with rich robes. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head. They put clean clothes on him, and the angel of the Lord stood by. And then the angel of the Lord admonished Joshua and said, Thus says the Lord of hosts, If you will walk in my ways, and if you will keep my command, then you shall also judge my house, and likewise have charge over my courts. And I will give you places to walk amongst these who stand here. Wow. But how does this apply to us? First Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him, the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Who were once not a people, but are now the people of God who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Galatians 2.20 I've been crucified in Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Revelation 5.9-10 And have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign upon the earth. And we shall reign over the kingdom of heaven, which is all of creation. With he who created creation. Hebrews twelve twenty two. But you, you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the city of God, which is in heaven. It's also known as Mount Zion. The city of God. 
where the gates surround it, where the crystal river flows down from the throne room, pours over Mount Zion, down into the suburbs where the country mansions are, the beautiful country mansions. Some of us will even have city mansions and country mansions. How beautiful. The heavenly Jerusalem to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly, which is a congress, and the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God the judge of all. How awesome. To the spirits of just men made perfect. To Jesus, the mediator, the lawyer the advocate of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We praise you, Jesus. And last but absolutely not least, hallelujah, is Nehemiah 1, verses 5 through 8. Nehemiah prays on behalf of the people of the lands of Israel. What does he pray? He says, your covenant and mercy to those who love you and observe your commandments. Please, speaking to the Father, please let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you now, day and night, for the children of Israel, your servants. And I confess of the sins of the children of Israel. He confesses of the sins of the children of Israel before the Father. He is standing in the gap, Ezekiel twenty two thirty, on behalf of the peoples of the lands of Israel. And he goes on to say, which we have sinned against you, both my father's house and I have sinned. We have acted very corruptly against you. We have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the ordinances of which you commanded your servant Moses. Hallelujah. Father God, we lift up our loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we interlock our hands spiritually across this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, our friend, our advocate, the mediator of the new covenant. We give you glory. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Father, for cleansing us of all unrighteousness. And we beseech thee, Father, to place a clean white robe on each of us, to place a clean turban upon our head, to remove our iniquity from us and not remember our sins. Let us contend together before your courtroom in Jesus' name. We lift up, Father God, our loved ones before thee. We come before your throne of grace. We step into the courtrooms of heaven. We stand in the gap as intercessors on behalf of our loved ones. We confess of their sins before thee, Father God, for they have acted very corruptly against you, as your servant Nehemiah did on behalf of all of Israel. We confess of their sins, the sins of their first fathers and their fathers' fathers, until the beginning of time. We renounce all curses, all things spoken of in the darkness against them. We break all generational and bloodline curses throughout all branches of their family trees. In Jesus' name, they are broken. Hallelujah. We hold up, Father God, a golden cup of forgiveness, and we ask you, Father, if it pleases the courts of heaven to pour out this golden bowl of forgiveness. Pour out this golden bowl of forgiveness upon our loved ones in Jesus' name. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Please, in the name of Jesus, we beseech you to place a holy gag order over the witnesses and the demons of darkness. In Jesus' name, cancel all their assignments against our loved ones. Have Satan, the chief prosecutor, be seated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father, save their souls. Call them before the throne of grace. In Jesus' name we pray, and thank you, Father. Amen.
your power yes father we will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning for you you alone father have been our defense and our refuge in the day of trouble to you O oh Lord oh my strength, our strength, Father. We will sing praise. For you, Father God, are our defense. Abba, Father, our God of mercy. We praise your holy name. For your mercy endures forever. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is your mercy toward those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far you have separated our iniquity from us. Praise you, Jesus. Based upon Psalm 59, 16, 103, 11. Praise you, Jesus. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise you, Jesus. I take note, praise his name, of the word renew, because the word renew clearly implies that at some point they had lost their strength. It needed to be renewed. And we thank you, Father, for renewing all of our strength. Help us, Lord, to plug back.
back in to that surge of power that comes from your throne. Spiritually connect to your glory and a vortex of love energy that flows down from the Father of lights. For all good gifts and all perfect gifts are from above and come from our glorious, awesome Father of lights. May you find us all worthy to stand in your presence. Wash us clean. Make us whiter than snow. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he who did not know, yet committed things deserving of stripes, shall be beaten with few. For everyone to whom much is given from him, much will be required. And to whom much has been committed of him, they will ask all the more. Luke twelve, forty seven. He, Father, will even deliver the one for whom you intercede, who is not innocent, yes, he will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands. Job 22, 30, Amplified. Though he slay me, yet I will trust him. Job 13, 15. And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all of your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37. Anyone who can hear, listen carefully. The people of God who are destined for prison will be arrested and taken away. And those destined for death will be killed. But do not be dismayed, for here is your opportunity for the endurance and confidence of the saints. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Revelation 13, 9, PLB. I'll no one anything except lo- to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments that you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, if there is any other commandment, they are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Romans 13, 8. Father, from the ends of the earth... We will cry to you. Our hearts are overwhelmed. Lord, lead us to the rock. Lead us to the rock. That for you have been a shelter for us. A strong tower from the enemy. We will abide in your tabernacle forever. And we will trust in the shelter of your wings. Psalm 61, 2. 
Lord. Open our eyes that we may see wondrous things from your law. For we are strangers in the earth. Psalm 119, 18. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquity. For as the heavens are as high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it and it is gone. And its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon those who fear him. And his righteousness to children and his children's children to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments and do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. and His kingdom rules over all. We bless you, Father God. We thank you, Jesus. You, his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of the word, of his word, bless the Lord, all you, his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his work, in all places of his, based upon Psalm 103.8. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For this cause we will bow our knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, alleluia, that he would grant us, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might in his spirit by in the inner man, that he would grant us, according to the riches of his glory, that he would grant us, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might, by his spirit in the inner man. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you will strengthen us in the inner man. We pray that you will give us self-control for the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, and self-control against which there is no law. Praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Galatians 5.22 Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. Thank you, Jesus. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groaning. It cannot be uttered. Romans eight twenty six. Glory be to God. We thank you, Jesus. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Can't wait for this day. I don't care what I got to go through. I pray that you feel the same way. Bring it on, Father. Bring it on, Father. We cannot wait for the day that your light will flow into us, that your glory will fall upon us, Lord God, that we will shine like the stars in the heaven. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, the three days of darkness, and deep darkness to people. But the Lord will arise over you, over us, and his glory will be seen upon you. And the Gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising We praise you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify in your holy name, O Lord. 
Give us, Father, the endurance, the strength, the patience, the perseverance, and the joy. Father, we abandon ourselves into your hands. Do with us what you will. Whatever you may do, we thank you. We are ready for all. We accept all. Let only your will be done in our lives. We wish no more than this, Lord. Into your hands we commit our soul. Into your hands we commit our spirit. We offer it to you with all the love of our heart. We love you, Lord, and we so need to give of ourselves, the surrender of ourselves into your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence for you, our, our Abba Father. Amen. Be exalted, O God. Our hearts are fixed, O Father. Our hearts are fixed. We will sing and give praise. Oh, wake up. Our glory, awake up, psaltery and harp. We ourselves will awake early. We will praise thee, O Lord, amongst the people. We will sing unto thee amongst the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and the truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let thy glory be above all the earth. Praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Prophecy, Wings of Prophecy, entitled, So Weary. I know your hearts are weary, children. I know you have grown tired of the wicked world in which you live. I know you long for home here with me, and that is coming. Very soon for some of you, later for others. But you must endure a while longer for me. There are so many in the world who do not know me and believe they have no need of me. And soon it will be too late for them. I must work through you to touch as many of them as I can. To offer them salvation one more time. A chance to escape what awaits them otherwise. If you will continue my work in the earth if you will remain faithful to me if you will keep walking with me in this time of weariness I will bless you again and again I will answer prayers you have waited years to see answered I will grant you mystery ministries and healings and miracles if you will endure for me Hold on for me, children. Glorious day is coming when you shall be free of all the wickedness of the world. And you will never again feel the weariness that you feel now. Thank you, Jesus. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in
We arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity through the belief in the threeness, through the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Hallelujah. We arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of the descent to the judgment of doom. We arise today through the strength of the love of cherubim and obedience of angels and service of archangels and hope of resurrection to meet with reward in prayers of patriarchs and predictions of prophets and preaching of apostles and faith of confessors and innocence of holy virgins and deeds of righteous men. We arise today through the strength of heaven, light of the sun, radiance of moon, splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of wind, depths of the sea, stability of earth, firmness of rock. We arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's strength to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eyes to look before me, God's ears to hear me, God's words to speak for me, God's hands to guard me, and God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, and God's host to save me from the snares of the devils, from temptation of vices, from everyone who would wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in multitude. We summon today all of these powers between me and those evils against every cruel, merciless power that may oppose my body, my soul, against incantations of false prophets, against black laws of pagandom, against false laws of heretics, against crafts of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths and wizards, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Christ to shield me today against poisoning, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that there may come to all of us Hallelujah. An abundance of reward. Christ with us. Christ before us. Christ behind us. Christ in us. Christ beneath us. Christ above us. Christ on our right. Christ on our left. Christ when we lie down. Christ when we sit down. Christ when we arise. Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of us. Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of us. Christ in the eye of everyone who sees us. And Christ in the ear that everyone who hears us. We arise today through a mighty strength. Through the invocation of the Trinity, through the belief in the threeness, through the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we enter now into communion service. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus.
All of creation Restored by His hand Eternity All is revealed By the time we remember All skies will be healed As we long for your coming We imagine the feast The Lord and his bride When our waiting has ceased You, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light, who were once not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have. Obtain mercy. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart unto the Lord. And finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, 
Whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, and whatever things are of a good report. If there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate upon these things. 1 Peter 2.9, Colossians 3.12, Philippians 4.8. And Jesus went a little further and he fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26.39. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by the angels, preached amongst the Gentiles, and believed upon in the world, received up into glory. 1 Timothy 3, 16. We pray for purification. Psalm 51, 1 through 13. Have mercy upon us. According to your loving kindness and according to the multitude of your tender mercies, we pray, blot out our transgressions. Wash us thoroughly from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin. Lord, for we acknowledge our transgressions and our sin is always before us. Against you, you only we have sinned and done this evil in your sight. That you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, we were brought forth in iniquity, and in sin our mothers conceived us. Behold, you desire truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part you will make us to know your wisdom. Purge us, Father, with your hyssop, and we shall be clean. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. Father, we beseech Thee that You would make us to hear joy and gladness in our hearts, that the bones that You've broken may rejoice. Hide Your face from our sins. Blot out all of our iniquity. Create in us, Father, a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us. Do not cast us away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from us. More than anything, Father, we pray that you will restore 
within each of us the joy of your salvation and uphold us. Lift us up, Father, with your generous spirit. And then we will teach transgressors your ways. And sinners will be converted to you. The Lord's Supper, Holy Communion. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me In the same manner, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Ani, Lodori, Vidori, Li. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine.
You were hurt for my offense. You were sick for my deceit. You were poor for my prosperity. You were strong when I am weak. I praise you, my Redeemer. I praise you, Majesty. You were left by God Almighty. To always be with me, and I know I will never be. Pray for the lost. We are the sons of God. We are the masters of the devil, and we are the servants and foot washers of mankind. Years ago, with my own personal protest because I didn't understand, the Lord told me while I was on my knees in prayer that I needed to start doing this prayer vigil. Now, it's grown, and my understanding of things has grown over the years. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Father. But at the time, I really just did not know what exactly I was doing, and the Lord kept after me and kept after me and kept after me, and so I I finally said, okay. And, And I tried, and I moved forward, and I just walked into faith, and praise God. But as time went by, and things happened supernaturally, I can't explain it, but Things were placed upon my heart. Methods of prayer. Uh, again, James 5:16b. The effective, the effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man avails much. What does that term "effective" mean? Yeah. And then when you uh, uh, overlay that to Romans 8:26, which says, "Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought." Over the time I the, through, I imagine the prompting of the Holy Spirit and 
words that were just placed upon my heart. We started to pray on this prayer vigil for dreams and visions for angels to come upon people and to bring dreams and visions upon them in the night, which, by the way, is uh, echoed in the scripture of Job 33, verses 14 and 15, where it says um, uh, uh, that uh, um, uh, essentially the same thing. That that uh, that that dreams and visions of the night to save their souls from the pit and to seal their instruction. We praise you, Father. So I'm reading for you what is what brought absolute gushing tears to my eyes after long after we had already started the prayer vigil. This article was released from the Gospel Herald because we're all hoping to get confirmations from the throne room. That the direction that we're walking, that the things that we're doing are, are what the Lord wants. That they are bearing fruit. Amen? And anyone who has any critical thinking skills at all knows that the missionary populations of the world cannot possibly touch all the land. They just simply cannot. It is physically impossible. There are not enough of them. And there are many, many lands of which they cannot even access, even today. One of them is the, uh, is the country of Bhutan in Asia. How many of you knew that there was even such a country called Bhutan? B-H-U-T-A-N. Praise God. So how is it that the gospel of Christ, the good news, would touch people, would reach all of creation? Uh, every creature on the earth. I find that a fascinating term. The Bible would even use that term. Praise God. The Gospel Herald Ministries. Headline, Iran now has one. Of, this is just Iran. By the way, this is happening all over the world. And these people are far, because of their persecution, are far more devoted Christians than those who live in Babylon the Great. It says, Iran now has one of the fastest growing Christian populations as more Muslims are having dreams and visions of Jesus. Despite severe persecution and acts of terror from ISIS headlining the front pages, Christianity remains strong as and is, in fact, a fast-growing religion in Iran, according to this article, and one of the most hardline, one of the most hardline Islamic countries in the world today. In a report from CBN, where in the interviewees, uh, 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 Iranians visiting Kurdistan have requested anonymity for their protection, former Muslims are revealing that many are coming to Jesus Christ through supernatural dreams and visions. Praise God. Absolutely glorious. Ezekiel 22.30 again. So I sought, as a father, so I sought for a man amongst them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me for the throne room on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it but I found no one we intercede on behalf of the land Ephesians 3.20 now to him the Lord Jesus Christ, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. First John 3, 8 and 9. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Who are we? Galatians 3, 20. We are crucified in Christ, and it is no longer us who lives, but Christ who lives in us. So what do we do? We destroy the works of the devil. Colossians 2.15 Jesus, having disarmed 
principalities and powers. See, now reflect back, if you will, in Jesus' name, I pray. Back to the story, I believe it's in uh, uh, Daniel 10, uh, where Daniel's request to the throne was for a revelation on the end of the Babylonian captivity and the time frame, and he prayed for that and fasted 21 days, but the blessing and the information was sent from the throne room to Daniel immediately. However, it was held up in the spiritual realm by an entity known as the Prince of Persia, principalities, powers, and strongholds, spiritual as the wickedness, rulers of darkness in high places. These are real. These are tangible. These are who we wrestle with. These are who we come against because we must first bind the strong men and then we will clean his house and cast out the subordinate demons. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. And since Jesus disarmed principalities and powers, making a public spectacle of them, what do we now have the authority to do? The same. The same. But you must speak forth the power. For Christ said, if you will speak to this mountain and say, be thou removed and cast into the sea. Speak to the mountain. In this case, the mountain is the principalities. It is the powers, the spiritual host of wickedness, and we speak to them. We command them with the authority that was given to us through Christ. Hallelujah. For we are crucified in Christ. And it's no longer us who lives, but Jesus Christ who lives in us. And he gave us that authority. Intensified prevailing prayer is God's ordained law and method for implementing his redemptive plan in this age until Jesus returns. It is the highest, the holiest, and the mightiest effort of which a child of God is capable. It is God's chosen way to bring heaven's power, heaven's resources, and heaven's angels into action upon the earth. Charles Spurgeon says, He who knows how to overcome with God in prayer has heaven and earth at his disposal. Imagine that. Intensified prayer is clothed with the might of God himself. What holds us back? What holds us back? What stops us from praying more effectively? Jesus said in John 14, around about John 14, 12, he said, greater things than these will they do, us. Because he goes unto the Father. Greater things than what? Greater things than what Jesus did. What are those greater things? Are they defined? Do we have a list of what's allowed and what's not allowed? Or is it our faith? The authority of Christ that we were given, it was. If Christ had the authority to call down legions of angels, making even the rocks cry out, what authority do we have? Greater things than these shall we do. And wait until the final harvest. Wow. Praise his holy name. James 5, 16b. The effective, fervent prayers. The effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man avails much. Hallelujah. Fervent meaning having or displaying a passionate intensity. Impassioned, passionate, intense, vehement, ardent, sincere, fervid, and heartfelt. We cast out demons. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. By the way, that means ingest. doesn't necessarily mean drinking, like drinking out of a glass. It will by no means hurt them, just like the viper on the island of Malta that that Paul shook off of his hand that should have killed him. It didn't touch him. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Not necessarily miraculously, but they will recover. You must believe. Continue to believe. There are miraculous healings. And there are healings. But all good gifts and perfect gifts come from above. 
from the Father of light. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 6. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, they're not earthly, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. There's your strong men. Casting down arguments in every high thing. Spiritual realm. It's a spiritual realm. It's high things. Think high places. It's talking about the spiritual realm, the prince of the air. This 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 realm, this this filthy stench, this foul and loathsome realm that exists around the earth that we don't have the ability to perceive, but the angels have to go through in order to bring our blessings to us where the principalities and the powers operate. And where? The astral projecting Satanists project their spirits into the spiritual realm as they team up with the demons of darkness to come against the saints and stop and hinder the prayers of the saints and the blessings that are bringing that are being brought down by God's angels on our behalf. But we have to know these things. Otherwise, our prayers will be, well, less than effective. Ephesians 6.10 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Take close note that of, of the armor of God, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word, is the offensive weapon. Why then were you given an offensive weapon? We were given, uh, it says in Ephesians six fourteen through twenty. Stand therefore, having girded your wa- uh, uh, girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. You must practice righteousness, for he who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he Jesus is righteous. First John three seven. Verse 15, Ephesians 6, and having shod your feet, it's a covering, it's an armored covering over your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the good news of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Then verse 17 says, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Now then, if the sword of the Spirit, which is offensive in its nature, it's an offensive weapon, is the Word of God, you must be able to quote the Word of God against the demons of darkness. When you talk to the mountain. When you bind and cast them out. Some people who work in deliverance will each actually hold the Bible itself against the person who is possessed. And the demons respond in agony and cry out. It's very effective. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When Jesus saw the people come running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Exclamation point. Note the exclamation point. Jesus said, I command you. He didn't say, come out, leave. He commanded him. He spoke fervently. Matthew twelve twenty eight, Jesus said, But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house? There you go. Strong man. Superior demon. Principalities, powers, spiritual hosts of wickedness, and rulers of darkness in high places. 
How can one enter a strong man's house? Now, what is a strong man's house? It can be the body of an individual. It can be a land. I stood in the gap, uh, 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 you know, on, uh, on behalf of the land. I look for someone to stand in the gap. Found no one. Well, here we are. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Isaiah 6, 8. Father, here we are. Send us. How can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Matthew 18, 18. That which is bound on earth is bound in heaven. When you bind the strong man, you are taking away his ability to do the evil that he does because you are binding him ultimately in the courts of heaven. You are taking away his authority and you are binding him. And then you will plunder his house. But what do you mean plunder? You're going to cast out the subordinate demons. Praise God. Matthew twelve forty three. And what's this whole deal with the house? Well, golly, it's right here. It's right here. And several verses later in verse 43, it says, when an unclean spirit goes out of a man, this is Jesus speaking, he goes through dry places seeking rest and he finds none. And then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. A body, a land, a building, wherever he, he was assigned And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order. And then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. So shall it be with this wicked generation. Why? Because they failed to go and sin no more. As Jesus said, go and sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon thee. Oh. Amazing how harmonious all the scriptures are when their meaning is revealed through the Spirit of God. John fourteen twelve. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these will he do because I go to my father with no limits we praise you father we thank you Jesus father we thank you for your scriptures on the courts of heaven we thank you for awakening us to the power that in the authority that you have given us through Christ Jesus we thank you for helping us to understand that the things that we speak forth have the power of Christ the creator of creation through you father god only begotten we glorify in you lord Jesus, Yeshua, Messiah, and we thank you for the outpouring of your spirit upon us this day. We pray that you will clothe us in a clean, white robe, that you will take away our filthy garments from us, that you will place rich robes upon us, that we should contend together. We praise you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord God, we stand in the gap on behalf of all of the lands, of the lands of Asia and the Middle East. In the name of the Lord Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb of God, Ezekiel 22.30, we stand in the gap as intercessors before your throne of grace, before the courts of heaven. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb of God, Father God, we beseech the courts of heaven. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Father, in Jesus' name we pray for the lost peoples of the lands of Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Bangladesh, the Bhutan, Brunei, Cambodia, China, Georgia, India, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq. Father, we lift up the people of the lands of Israel and we pray for a special protection around about them in Jesus' name. 
We lift up the peoples of Japan, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Kuwait, Kazakhstan, Laos, Lebanon, Malaysia, the Maldives, Mo- Mo- uh, Mongolia, Myanmar. We lift up the people of Na- Nepal, North Korea, South Korea, Oman, Pakistan, in Jesus' name, Father God. People are being saved like crazy in Pakistan. Pour out your spirit upon those people, we pray. Lord God, we lift up the people of the lands of the Philippines. In Qatar, Russia, Father, in Jesus' name. Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Syria, Father. We hold them up before you, every man, woman, and child, every nation, tribe, and tongue. Taiwan, Tajikistan, Thailand, Timor, Turkey, Turkmenistan, the United Arab Emirates, you use Be- Pakistan, Vietnam, and Yemen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we hold up every man, woman, and child, every nation, tribe, and tongue before your throne. We stand in the gap on behalf of them, Father. Father, as your servant Nehemiah did in chapter 1, verse 6, on behalf of the lands of Israel, we confess of their sins before thee, for they have acted very corruptly against thee, Father God. And we pray, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We hold up a golden bowl of forgiveness before your throne, and if it pleases the courts of heaven, pour out this golden bowl of forgiveness upon every man, every woman, every child, across all of those lands, Father God, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we part the spiritual realm where the demons of darkness reside. We part it like the Red Sea, that the angels of glory shall have safe passage without any hindrance into these lands in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Praise your name. Principalities, powers, and strongholds, uh, spiritual hosts of wickedness and rulers of darkness in high places above all of these lands. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we sever your heads with the sword of the Spirit. We disarm you, Colossians 2.15, and cancel all of your assignments against these people now. In the name of Jesus, put down your weapons. We disarm you now in Jesus' name. We decree and declare fire swords of cherubim to shoot down from the heavens and to cut you into pieces. We decree the Zechariah 2.5 holy fire of God to shoot into the spiritual realm and to burn you into utter agony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we declare tens of billions of legions of warrior angels fully clad in the armor of God, diamond-tipped swords sharp as razor blades and diamond-covered shields of faith to enter into the spiritual realm, to launch a war against thee, to cut you into pieces, archangel by the hundreds of billions in the name of Jesus to launch an offensive against the forces of darkness and to cut you down in the name of Jesus Christ and cast you into the pit. In the name of Jesus, we come to punish you before your time. In Jesus' name. Unclean spirits, deaf and dumb spirits, anything that cannot call Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Binding or hindering the hearts and the minds of every man, woman, and child across all of the countries that we stand in the gap on behalf of in the lands of Asia. In the name of the Lord Jesus and by his blood. Unclean spirits, come out. Come out of them. We bind and cast you out into dry places, into the pit. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ to seal the pit. For only the Lamb of God can break the seal. In Jesus' name, we have loosed your legal rights to them for a time. Come out. Release them now. In Jesus' name, we cast you out of them. Release them. Enter them. No more. We commend it in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by his blood, we decree a holy fire, a thorny hedge of protection around about each and every man, woman, and child every, across every nation, tribe, and tongue in all of the lands of Asia. We decree and declare a whirlwind of the Holy Spirit to swirl around that holy fire and to make it white hot to scatter the darkness in all directions. Let nothing unclean re-enter the clean-swept house. Sustain it into the night. In Jesus' name we pray. We declare the crystal river 
the living water, the abundant grace of God to flow down from the heavens into the hearts and the minds and the soul and the spirit of every single man, woman, and child in the lands of Asia this night to fertilize the soil therein, that they shall receive the seeds of these prayers. These prayers will bear fruit, and the fruit will remain in Jesus' name. John fifteen sixteen. Alleluia. We decree tens of billions of legions of warrior angels and ministering angels into the lands of Asia to come upon these people in dreams, in visions of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, in open and standing visions of the day to save their souls from the pit, to seal their instruction, to reveal the good news and present the man in the white robe, the glorious Lord Jesus Christ, to every single one of them, that they shall fall to their knees and cry out, Lord, enter my heart. We pray for a supernatural outpouring of the glory of God to fall upon the peoples of the lands of Asia like never before since before the foundations of the earth. We praise you, Father God, and we thank you for empowering us with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, and if it pleases the courts of heaven, we call down heaven's angels, heaven's resources, heaven's power, and we decree an offensive to be launched against the demons of darkness in those lands, an offensive to be brought into the encampments of the darkness and to cut them into pieces, to break up the witch covens, to break up the Hindu practices, to break up the evil and the darkness of all of the minor gods of hell fire that reside in those lands. We come against them in the name of Jesus and sever all of their heads. We command in Jesus' name and decree the angels of war to come upon them now in Jesus' name and to set the captives free. Father, we commit their souls into your hands. We commit their spirits into your hands. And we pray, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Holy Lord Jesus, we praise thee, Lord God. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh, we pray. Touch the hurting, the downtrodden, the dejected, the suicidal, those who pray to false gods, those who look for that which they do not even know. Father, we pray in Jesus' name and beseech thee to open up the gates of heaven and pour out the crystal river upon all of the peoples of the lands of Asia now like never since has ever happened since before the foundations of the earth. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and we praise you, Father. The kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your mercy endures forever. For your mercy endures forever. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We'll see you all next Friday. Praise you, Jesus. Lord willing.